I hope you're having a wonderful Memorial Day. On this Memorial Day, I wanted to share a couple of things. I'm not able to go to the Riverside National Cemetery where my dad is, so I just wanted to show you a couple of his plaques he got. Uh, this one is from Harry Truman. It's kind of old. It's appreciation for service in the armed forces. And then the last one, which is from Ronald Reagan, uh, honoring the memory of my father. My father was in the Army and the Navy and uh, 20 years civil service at the Air Base here. He was a tough man, a very tough man. And he was a good man. He was an honorable man. He had a lot of challenges. He took good care of me. And I miss him. Real quick today, I wanted to share a little bit about the uh, Rome statue somebody shared with me, uh, looking into the fact that Rome would be the world court headquarters. So I took a look at the Rome statute of the International Criminal Court. I'm not really concerned about it. The biggest concern is that it's so open for amendments. Uh, if it's amended in different ways, it could affect us terrifically. Right now, it's basically looking at um, slavery, pillage, uh, international uh, murders, uh, disappearing people, which I don't like disappearing people, genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and the crime of aggression. Number D, 1D in Article 5, the crime of aggression is the most open-ended part that I can see. But this court will only have jurisdiction, uh, they will determine jurisdiction for serious international matters. They're not going to be interested in picking us up and uh, trying each and every one of us, as far as I can see, as the way it is now, unless it's completely amended into a different document. The document that I'm concerned about lately that I've been looking into is the United Nations Climate Change Conference. This is full on. It's coming up December 7 to 18, 2009 in Copenhagen. And if you go to the page for the United Nations Climate Change Conference, you'll get 550 million documents. <sighs> They've had a COP 8, 10, 10, well, all the way up to 15. COP 15, COP is what they call it. So you might want to take a look at that. Uh, they have a lot of propaganda in here about how, oh, the uh, damage is going to double. And it is relating to what they were saying about the population reduction. They're tying it in with, oh, we have to, uh, and cultural heritage, we have to reduce the population, we have to save these people. Then they have NAPAs, National Adaptation Programs of Action. They have 38 LDCs, which they call least developed countries, and they all have to uh, agree to a NAPA, Program of Action. And on the site for the uh, UNF, CCC, they will tell you all the things that they're requiring these countries to do to uh, follow. Then they have articles of the Framework Convention on Climate Change. They have the Conference of the Parties. That's the COP, I was saying, COP. The Conference of the Parties is where they make the decisions. And this document is filled with danger. Uh, it's so full of uh, convoluted language and um, propaganda regarding climate change. And a big thing in here is the carbon taxes. They have a special name for them. I have to look it up and maybe I can do a... a compile it into something useful, but they're talking basically about how they're going to have these little units that are bought and sold. And in the documents here they say how many billions these little bought and sold units are worth. 
of course, it doesn't actually say what good it's going to be for all these corporations to buy and sell them, how it's going to benefit the world, but it's going to benefit them, and we have to watch out for it. So I would say go to the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP15. That's the one that's coming up. And uh, take a look at some of their plans for this December and in Copenhagen. And uh, their plans for Africa they have here. The top sentence says, New study shows that without swift and massive action to curb greenhouse gas emissions, the warming of the Earth's surface will double compared warming of the Earth's surface will double compared to previous projections. Whatever those were, they have lots of nice smiling people. Let's meet today's energy challenge with existing technologies. Write to us and tell us what you think about the climate change. Here's a scary looking guy. The UN climate chief is YVO Vo de Boer, B O E R. And he wants the conference to reach agreements on four political essentials. This is the thing that scares me out of all the documents that I've been working on this month. And I hope your Memorial Day turns out real good. Um, and it's good to see you again. And I hope everyone is, is able to keep their chin up. Blessings.